Hey guys, so slightly different video today. In case you don't know, we moved into this house about a year and a half ago, um, and there's been quite a few things that we've been wanting to do to the house and we have been doing. Um, one of the things is the flooring. The entire house is pretty much mismatched. Um, we've got, I think, five different types of flooring throughout the house. So we're trying to get it all to look a bit more cohesive. Um, we've got Jarrah flooring, we've got laminate flooring, we've got through four different types of tiles, um, another type of laminate flooring, and another type of jarra flooring. So it's all very all over the place. So today I'm going to try and paint the tiles in the laundry. Ideally, we would have retiled the laundry, but our budget is not allowing for that. So we're going to give um, some tile paint to go and see how that turns out. It's pretty cost effective. So if it doesn't work, I mean, it's not the absolute end of the world, but. <laughs> I think it will still look a million times better than it does at the moment. So basically, I will just turn you around and I'll show you what we're doing. So this is the tile paint we're using. It's the Rust-Oleum Tile Transformations, and we've gone for Aspen White. Um, it says you can use this for walls and floors, so hopefully it turns out okay. Apparently it's a textured, um, a textured finish, if you can... I don't know if you'll see. So it's a bit more like that, so hopefully it turns out okay. At the moment, it's this blue tile that we're working with in the um oops, sorry in here i already painted these walls they were blue the cabinets were blue i think it's sort of i don't know how to do the inside no so the inside's blue i just did a rough job on these eventually i want to um replace the cabinet door and um, we hung this curtain rubber sheer curtains or sheer yes those curtains um just for a bit more privacy because there's no curtains in this room um, this is the laundry trough, which is fairly standard. Ideally, I'd love to have like a bench that ran across this whole wall and then, um, you know, front loading washer and dryer. I think that would be gorgeous. But, and like a trough that isn't a trough, like just a sink in the top. I think that would be awesome. But, you know, we can't do that at the moment. We haven't got the budget to allow for that. So for now, we're just going to paint the tiles on the floor. And then I'll show you. There's also the. Um, the toilet in there so I painted the door frames as well we're getting new doors for this or all the rooms hopefully in the next couple of weeks and new door hardware so that is what we're working with so we'll see how we go with this I've just watched the instructional DVD to see how easy it is and it looks like we should be okay it looks pretty straightforward but I'll show you along the way as we go so we have vacuum my husband actually vacuumed for me and I just need to mop and clean like you can see it's a bit dirty and grubby in there um, I need to mop the floor. We have our cat basket and um, basket cat food in here as well. So her area is a little bit on the grubby side since we haven't cleaned it yet. Um, the toilet is fairly good in there, but it'll still need to be clean. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get the mop out, the steam up, and see how we go with that. Okay, so I vacuumed, mopped, scrubbed, vacuumed again, and mopped again. <laughs> um, and we're looking a lot cleaner. There's a few spots of paint that won't come off. So but most of them are sort of in spots that you're not going to walk anyway. So hopefully it's not going to get too scuffed up once we've painted. Um, the kit came with a little scouring pad, which was really good. That really worked really well to get. And, it, and there was a cleaner in there as well, like a powder cleaner. Hang on, let me step in. It's dry yet. There was a little powder cleaner that came with it, which I don't know what it is, but it was awesome. It really did well and it's not like citrus so it says it's toxic though so we will keep that out of reach of children um but yes a big difference already the tiles look so freaking clean so i'm gonna wait till the kids go to bed tonight to start painting but there we are okay i'm just about to put owen to bed and i realized that once i do put him to bed i'm not going to be able to talk in the laundry anymore because his room's right across from it um so i thought i'd just quickly show you the um the brushes and things that I got to go to paint the floor with. Um, the actual kit, the Rust-Oleum kit came with a roller, which is just a 10 mil roller. I think it said it was a six mil nap. I think that's what I'm meant to say. <laughs> um, but you had to buy the actual frame and everything for it. So I got this, what is it? Paint Partner 10 piece roller kit. It comes with all of those things. Um, so the tray and the frame, and it came with a whole bunch of heads, but I'm going to use the one that they supplied just because 
that's what they said and then came with a tray came with like some stirring sticks too which are always handy and then for the actual cutting in they didn't provide a paintbrush so I got this one which is my favorite cutting in brush I do a lot of cutting a lot of painting so I've tied out a whole bunch um, it's the control and precision one um, from Monarch Monarch that's the packaging 63 mil one um, and yeah that's my favorite that I use for cutting in so with these tools, hopefully it's all going to go quite well. Uh, I'm going to try and film while I'm actually painting. Like I said, I won't be able to talk because the kids will be asleep and they, their rooms are right next to the laundry. So I don't want to wake them up halfway through. Um, but I'm going to try and do a time lapse and see if that will work, if I can angle the camera properly. Um, so we'll just say goodnight to Owen. Say nana, Owen. Um, and hopefully I will see you shortly. So I ran out of paint last night, as you can see. Um, so it's the next morning. Joe's been down to get more paint for me and we're going to finish it off now. Hopefully it's not gonna look too bad where I had to finish um, the paint last night and where I'm gonna to start today. A couple of moths got in and look what they did. They died of slow painful deaths in the paint. I am hoping it's gonna go there and I'm gonna be able to get them off and paint over it well at least this one that's sort of where the washing machine goes so you won't see that if it's not done perfectly i'm also going to do the side tiles i wasn't sure if i was going to have to or not depending on the color that the white was but um yeah after looking at it you can definitely tell a difference i'm going to do those as well with the roller i ended up just painting with the paintbrush last night i think because there's so many grout like because the tiles are so, so long there's so many grout lines it just the rolling was just too tedious so i paint i painted it with a paintbrush just to let you know the consistency of this paint is pretty much like glue and it just gets glueier and glueier as you go along which obviously made this adhesing really well but um it's really hard to work with um i'll show you in here as well so that's the toilet i think that looks really good i'm really excited all right i'm gonna get to it So we're going to go in here and have a look. Did you see how blinding that was? Oh, it's so beautiful. Apparently I can walk on this now, so I'm just going to take down this baby gate so I can get in. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, it's so pretty. Look in there. Oh, it looks so much better. So fresh. I need to cork that, that seam between the two tiles. I've got to cork that. How much better does that look? Oh, I am freaking in love. I can't wait. When Joe gets home from work today, we're going to put the washer and dryer back in. But oh, I want to get a mat as well, like a jute rug, to sort of go down here, just to sort of um, bring some colour in. I don't want colour, but like just to bring a little bit of something else into it so it's not just stark white. Oh. Uh, so happy with how it turned out. Let's see if I can feel. Yeah, okay, I would say it was textured. It's definitely not a, gl a gloss finish, probably more of a satin. Um, and there are bits that are better than others. Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that gives you a good idea. Yeah, so if you get up close, it's probably not the best finish. I probably didn't do the best job of all. But um, just to look at it, I reckon if you're not, you know, really looking for flaws or anything, um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let me turn the light in here. Especially in here, actually, because this toilet looked really gungy before. But um, even because there was like a, um, you can see the concrete between the base of the toilet and the floor. So that looks a million times better. Oh, it's a bit annoying. Uh, so the curtain, I didn't actually notice this, the curtain's got stuck on the bottom. Um, 
I had them clipped up, but they must have fallen down. So they got caught in here, and then Joe pulled them out probably maybe an hour after it had started drying. Um, and by that time, the, re the remaining paint that I had had um, uh, solidified. <laughs> so I wasn't able to go over it. Maybe I'll put a doormat here so you can't see it because that'll drive me nuts otherwise. Um, I didn't think it was as bad as that. But, but yeah, it still turned out a million half better than I thought it was going to. And I think if you did it with a bit more patience <laughs> than I did, it would turn out even better. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a sweep and then... I'm going to put the stuff back in a bit later. So it's been a couple of weeks now, so I thought I'd show you how the laundry is looking now. It's got all its furniture back in and just my thoughts on the paint that's on the tile. Um, I'll just quickly spin you around and show you. Okay, so we have had the doors replaced in that time. So this is the new door, which needs to be painted, but that's finished. Um, so the white, the colour of the tile, the white, was just a little bit too stark for me. So, and I'm a white tile person, like I would have all my tiles white in my house, but this white was just, yeah, just a little bit too clinical. So to bring a bit of life into it, I purchased this rug from Ikea. It was only about $30, which is awesome. Um, and I think that really just makes it look a whole lot better. Um, the whole effect though just makes the laundry and the toilet look so much cleaner. Um, it does make my appliances look like <laughs> crap. So, um, but we'll upgrade them in the future obviously the washing machine is only a couple years old so really no need to replace that yet um the tile i haven't seen any signs of chipping at all it does obviously show every little piece of dirt that comes that comes in here which my cat does come in here because her water bowl's in there and if she's been outside there's a bit of pollen out there at the moment because it's um spring so if she's got anything on her tail or in her fur it's sort of you can sort of see it come up on the tile because it's so white, but I knew that was going to happen, so that's not a big surprise for me. Um, the mat does make a difference, so it tends to gather a bit more on the mat now. Um, like I said, I hardly any signs of chipping um, anywhere. I've had a pretty good look. We had, when the doors were replaced, we had the um, the carpenter was using the laundry as his point of access to the house. So he had his big boots on and he is not the most careful of people. Um, and it was only a week after the tiles had paint been painted. So um, I was a bit nervous, but they didn't show any signs of damage after he left. Um, and I vacuumed and mopped it after he left as well because he was very messy. Um, and yeah, it came up really well. I was also nervous to scratch it with the vacuum cleaner, but again, nothing. Yeah, so overall I am very happy with the result of the tile paint. Um, if I had my time again, I would have got the two boxes of the Rust-Oleum tile paint um, at the get-go, so I wouldn't have had to stop halfway through and then resume it the next day once we got the paint, um, and I wouldn't have been so nervous about wasting paint, so I would have probably been more generous in some areas, because although you know there's perfect coverage across the whole lot, the bits that where I was trying to skimp a little bit on paint, um, the you can see the brush strokes on the tile which is okay because I'm not really looking at it that closely but um you know for a better effect I would have just had as much paint as I needed kind of thing from the get-go um it definitely works better on the wall tiles I mean we've only got the border tile around the bottom of the um wall but it definitely has worked better on those tiles than it did on the floor tiles um I think because they were a bigger and smoother tile that it just you know, it looks like it's just a white tile. It doesn't look like it's been painted. Whereas the floor tiles, because it's so little, there's so much grout. Um, that's where I was skimpy on the paint and whatnot. So, yeah, I think overall for $200, it was $100, I think $109 maybe for a box of the paint. Um, so for $200 to paint this entire laundry white, um, I think it's awesome. It's a bargain. Um, you know, it only took me a couple of hours really total to do it. So I'm really, really happy with the result. Um, the whole laundry just looks refreshed and um, just really good, I think. Um, I'm probably not going to be doing the bathroom with this paint in the near future. Um, it is still an option for us, but yeah, sort of humming and hiring because all the tiles are different in there. They're completely different sizes and shapes. Um, I think I would rather just get the whole thing gutted and do it all again, even though obviously that will be much more expensive. Um, I think we'll just have to save up a little bit and do that a bit later on because it's fine. Um, but I think for a quick fix for a room like a laundry, um, 
it was perfect and yeah it looks like it's gonna wear well so yeah that's it for this video I hope you found it interesting um, I will put links down below to the products that I used and um, any information that's relevant um, so you can have if you want to have a go at this you can um, I'm not being sponsored by this obviously I mean I don't have enough views probably to even get sponsored by anyone but um, just so you know these opinions are my own like I'm not you know no one's asked me to do a review on this product this was just something I thought I'd try so yeah thank you very much for watching like I say I hope you enjoyed it um, and I'll talk to you guys again soon bye